Hello everyone, welcome to another University of Connecticut UPDC construction project update. My name is Lou Gett. Today is March 21st, 2017. We are on the downtown Hartford, our new campus. This will be our ninth video in the series. We're at the north entrance. There's going to be two entrances to the campus. This is the north elevation. This is the first street entrance. Right now, in the future, there'll be glass. They have plywood over here for the construction at this particular stage. But I want to mention that recently, directly across the street, will be our, our Barnes & Noble and our co-op uh, bookstore will be located right over here. And they've just started the renovations to that. So this is the pathway we've taken in the past. It's going to enter into the common ground. And let's go in and see check the progress since the last time we were here. So this is one of the two lobbies again from the first street through the north area and this is the grand we've been in this space before this is the grand atrium space the common space through here. It's been some uh, fantastic work on the limestone beams and columns since the last time we were here. We did a close-up look of that. So they have the modular scaffolding in place. Wow. Now we are looking over here. Uh, this is the east elevation, some finishes. So this is the first floor. Remember the first and second floor. Third floor are all the classrooms. Fourth and fifth above that are the admin areas. Boy, we're really getting a sense for the finishes in through here. So we can see some wood soffits also in through here. Magnificent finishes and production since the last time we were, we were here. We can see they've actually started to do the work on the, on the ceilings up there. It looks to be like actually an acoustical panel up through there. We're look, looking at some plastic. Permanent lights are in place. The plastic is in place so that they can spray the ceiling. And this north elevation, the finishes are very strong also. So again, the first floor, the second, and the third floor. In this collaboration area, we're going to walk over to here for a minute. This is huge for the students. So we have a common space atrium down in through here. And this is this collaboration meeting area that's open to this space. We'll go up there and in a second take a view from the on the uh, collaboration area right in through here. And it's kind of in between the uh, first and the second floors through here. There'll be a stairway, an open staircase, both on the north and the south side through here. And this will all be exposed with some handrails going forward. This would be the north stairway here. There's actually two open meeting areas. One to the north and one, one to the south right through here. So this will be a great uh, open space through here. These doors actually lead to, to the west, which ultimately leads to the library, which we went in our last video and took a look at and the School of Social Work uh, up to the north. We're on the second floor, uh, looking down at the common space. The second floor is mostly classrooms, and some of the finishes are starting to go on go through here. So this is a great space, open right in through here uh, to the uh, common space. And as we come down, we'll get a sense here of the general classrooms and a bunch located right in this area or in through here. So it's great, we're starting to see some of the wood doors uh, installed at this time. There's no glazing, so we can hop through here and we can get a sense. This is the raised uh, floor classrooms in here. You know, to give it that sense of an auditorium with the teaching podium down here, and then each row will be a, a little bit higher through here. And that's gonna be the common theme in a lot of the uh, teaching classrooms in through here. So all of them are pretty much on the exterior walls with great views of the city. This one here is to the west, right in through here. We can see the restaurants down in through here. Just a marvelous teaching space. The podium will be up in through here. I can't wait for the protective plywood to be removed, for the glazing to be exposed on the courtyard. 
but we'll take a peek. There's some general purpose classrooms up in through here on the third floor. This is the elevation to First Street. We just talked about Barnes and Noble and the co-op moving in across the way. And again, the raised floor to give you the simulation of the auditorium in through here. So the third floor is the science wings too. We have one physics, we have uh, three chemistry, and three biology rooms up in this section through here. That was the physics that we just passed through here. So the chemistry is two classroom rooms with a service room uh, in between and biology is the same way. So we're coming into the, to the chemistry room over and through here. And again, the lower floor was a little more finished. The mechanicals are in here, so you can see all the rough-ins in through here. I imagine we'll be seeing the uh, lab casework uh, shortly in this section through here. So we uh, it was physics, chemistry, with the uh, any of the service room in between. This would be another one. Same thing. So the services are all uh, roughed in, and we're waiting for the lab casework. And then there'll be uh, the same thing with biology. Uh, down to this section through here. So third floor, this is the little science wing that they have through here. Physics, chemistry, biology. The two uh, biology rooms here, and I understand that the casework is due next week for all of the, all of the science labs. And this uh, biology uh, laboratory uh, gets the honor with the southeast corner to uh, look down on the courtyard, this courtyard in through here, and then the breakthrough is the terrace. You can actually see the bridge of glass that goes back across the top, the second floor being most of the classrooms for the students to be able to transport around. Eventually the plywood, as I said, it will come off and the glazing will be all exposed. And finally, a little closer look, being on the third floor here, as I mentioned down from below, the plastic on the panels so that the ceiling could be painted, the acoustical panels in the process over on this side over through here. A little bit more on the finish is what the finish looks like over through here. The wood soffits, the limestone completion coming along. So we have two shifts working now. We have a first shift and we actually have some men coming in on second shift and it pushes on uh, to meet the uh, schedule for the opening uh, in the fall. So finally we're here on the Hartford Times and we get a chance to see some of this graffito in different, um, different layers of the restoration and the cleaning process in through here. So as we look to the north, that section there looks pretty close to being finished. Colors are more vibrant. This area here you can see that they're more or less working on. You get a chance to look, there's the arch. We went inside and looked at the new arch windows that were being installed in there. The old cast iron, the metal framework. A couple of videos back, we picked up on that. We're, all, we're up more towards the ceiling now. There's the new window, the caulking hasn't been completed yet. The brick has been cleaned, restored in this area through here. They're working on the scrofito at this time. We get a chance to see the granite columns that come up towards the top here. This work they're just beginning to clean up in through the section right in here. You can still see some mortar droppings, things like that. Bird droppings. So pretty great opportunity to be on scaffolding all the way up to the ceiling in here. When we come and do a completed video on the end and we look up through here without any scaffolding up through here, see actually some access ports to be able to get up in through here. Very nice, can't wait to see it completed. To the ceiling, go back a video, video or two and we can see these rafter tails uh, previously that were installed. We now see that the roof decking this is a tongue and groove through here. So the actual uh, wood is the substrate because of its uh, thickness in through there and its structural value. 
What a nice line all the way down through there, how they line up uh, perfectly down in through here. So this is just about complete. The brick is completed. They got some caulking to do on some of the louvers, some cleanup work. They got some painting on the fascias up and through here, some final painting on through here. We'll pop up and take a look on the roof here. So the protective board has been installed. The ice and water barrier in through here. Over the top we can see the fascia. So the area is dried in, right in through here. So big progress since the last time we were here. It's ready for the roofing through here. All right, I see the Hartford Times. The sign is back in place. So I understand the letters are original. I understand the white marble. Uh, it, it, it was the best match. The original marble um, was from Vermont. This is a Georgian white marble. Uh, it has the best match possible today um, to replicate the original installation. Fantastic. Okay, as we exit the courtyard, look over the terrace to the public library, the university's new shared space. Again, today is March 21st, 2017. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon UPDC YouTube channel. Once subscribed, under subscriptions, to the right, under the bell, a check next to send me all notifications for this channel with a save. This way, anytime we add a project or update a project, you'll receive an automatic email. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.